and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Cord works this time, Duncan. It better. Okay, Adam. Careful now, careful. I thought we had it that time. Let's try it again. Again? That's 12 times already. I know, I know. Practice makes perfect. You got it. I hope you've got it. Here we go. All right, Adam. Again, carefully. It worked. Tila, I have wonderful news. I'm afraid I have some sad news about an old friend, Father, who was very sick. Poor Rohan, my teacher. He taught me so much. Now he's desperately ill and nobody knows the cause. I must go to him. Well, I'd like to go with you. And I'll go too, Father. <laughs> Tell me everything, Mitro. How did it happen? We were searching the tundra caverns for my grandson who got lost. I... I had given up hope of finding him. We've searched everywhere, Rohan. Wait. Listen. I hear something. There must be another cavern behind this wall. But where's the entrance? Hmm. Let's see if he's there first. I'll use my gamma ray. Here he is, Rohan. You found him. Now, I'll give it full charge. Here, hold this. I'll get the boy. Who invited you? Well, we'll soon have your grandson home safe and sound. I... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> My first thought was to call you, Man-at-Arms. You are his friend. I... I hope I did right. I'm glad you did, Mitro. That's what friends are for. Teela, you stay here with Rohad and see that he's comfortable. Adam and I are going to Castle Grayskull. <laughs> Let's hope the sorceress can help us. Rohad had been bitten by the rare and venomous dauber and filled with its poison. His time is quickly running out, unless you can bring him the antidote. But how? Where can we find the antidote, and what is it? The only thing that can save him is an herb called Vimwort, 
which grows in a cave on top of Mount Zeelite. In the Crystal Mountains? We'll never get there and back in time. We must. By the power of Grayskull! The forces on Mount Zeelite are ancient. Respect their power. Hurry! Rohad's time is short. We must save my dear friend. Don't worry. The Wind Raider will get us there and back in record time. No. No, no. The electron multiplier. He must... <sighs> the fever is worse. He doesn't know what he's saying. We're losing him. Try not to worry, Mitro. My father and Prince Adam will find a cure. They'd better hurry. Uh, uh. Rohan's a good man and strong. He'll make it. He's a great man. When he was my teacher, he was always pulling me out of trouble. He saved my life so many times. We were working on his synergetic time machine. I haven't heard about that one. There's a reason you haven't. We couldn't work out the details. Rohad thought if we could find another point in time similar to ours, we could travel there. He never liked to rush a project. I, on the other hand, couldn't finish one fast enough. When Rohad was asleep, I returned to try and finish following his plans just as he'd drawn them. I thought I had all the answers, but I didn't. Suddenly there was a giant flash. Everything started to shake and fill with smoke. Next thing I knew, Rohad was pulling me out of the machine. And then, like he knew what was about to happen, he pulled me behind a metal lab counter. And then things blew from here to the vine jungle. Well, that's the strange part. I had ruined his whole experiment, and yet he wasn't a bit angry. He <laughs> praised me for my eagerness and told me, sometimes before you can make something work, you have to know how it doesn't work. <laughs> He saved my life. I hope we can do the same for him. We better be mighty careful. There are giant flying tactrels in these swamps. Those big birds don't like people traveling through their swamp lands. The tactrels don't trust them. And I'm not sure I trust the tactrels. There's one. Look out. That bird just missed us. Probably protecting its nest. Here it comes again. Hold on, Duncan. That was close. Be careful, He-Man. I've seen squirrels in this fog that could have pulled down one of those birds. They could do the same to the raider. Uh oh I think we just hit a swirl. That wasn't so bad. I spoke too soon. We've hit a big one. We're losing power. This one's out to get us. So much for smooth landings. I'll check the damage. Those swirls short-circuited our main power. It'll take days to fix it, and we don't have days. We'd better get going on foot then, my friend. I'm afraid I'll hold you back. Your speed is our only hope now. All right. I'll bring back the cure, and Rohad will be as good as new. You're his sole hope. Here, take the web cord with you. You may need it. Hurry, He-Man. Our time is short. I'll meet you at Rohad's.
I think I may have a problem here. I wish I had a few more arms. Wait a minute. I hope this works. So long, pal. It worked well, Man at Arms. You came through again. Now, let's see if I can do the same for you. And Rohad. Now, Crystal Mountains, here I come. Just go into it. Father, you're back. What happened? We had some trouble. We'll see Adam back at the palace. He-Man is helping us now. How is Rohan? He's holding on, but I don't know how long. And He-Man won't let him down. He can't let him down. <laughs> If I never see another whirlpool again, it'll be too soon. Once I get through the vine jungle, the Crystal Mountains should be in sight. caught in the web of a crybon. I can't stop now, I've got to go on. No, I must free the tactrel. I think Rohad would want that. Better than that. I'd better get you out of here before that crybun can free itself. to Mount Sea Life.
I'm glad you dropped by. I'd say you're what's called a real friend in need. Thanks. And I've got a hunch you're going to wait for me. I'll be as quick as I can. of mercy. I can't go back without the Vimward. It seems your mission has failed. Please, I must get by. You mortals have never respected ancient ways, and now you come to us for help? <laughs> I've always respected the ways of the ancients, but I thought the ancients respected the value of life. My time is short. I must have the Vimward. Do you want it enough to beg for it? If kneeling and begging is what you want, there's no shame in doing so. I beg of you to help me save another's life. I can't force myself against you. I can only ask for your help. Rise, He-Man. What you ask for is just. Your quest will not be denied. Take this branch of Vimward and let its healing power do its work. Thank you, my lady. Now to return to Rohad as fast as that tactrol will carry me. As fast as you can. Fly! Father, his pulse is weakening. Just a little longer, Rohan. Please hold on, old friend. I know He-Man will return. Hurry, He-Man, hurry! We'd better stay clear of that swampland fog. But that means our fastest route is through the Cragmore Narrows. Do you think you can make it? Well, let's do it. Just what we didn't need, a hungry mandrone. I hope we can outrun it to the Narrows. No such luck. We'll never lose him that way. This may be just the thing. Now, big friend, swoop around him. It won't take him long to get loose, so onward through the narrows. friend just a little longer please father he's here he man is here thank you he man you gave us quite a scare rohad and if it hadn't been for a brave tack drill and for man at arms web cord, which I'm sorry to say has probably been chewed to pieces by now by an unfriendly man drone, I never would have made it. I owe my life to you, He-Man, and to all of you, and Duncan, about your lost invention. Well, I, I've never known an invention that couldn't be made again. 
and probably made better than before. <laughs> now, if the teacher will listen to his pupil, it's time you got some sleep. Thank you all. For what you did, thank you, dear friend. That's what friends are for. Today, Man-at-Arms and He-Man showed us the true meaning of friendship. When Rohad was sick, Man-at-Arms rushed to his side and did everything in his power to help. And He-Man risked his life to assist Man-at-Arms. How would you like to have a friend who will be there to take care of you when you're sick? Who will see you through bad times as well as good? Well, most of you have. They're your two best friends, your mother and your father. And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. That's how you came to land on Eternia. Yes. And I can see it all again, thanks to Man-at-Arms' memory projector. Well, you were some pilot, Mother. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Mom, what was Earth like? I'm afraid you'd find it kind of boring, Adam. There are no giant green tigers or magical castles. But it's a beautiful place, filled with beautiful people. Sounds as if you miss it. Oh, sometimes. But my real home is here on Eternia, with you and your father. I wouldn't trade anything for the life we have together. Excuse me, Your Highness, but I was looking for Adam. Uh-oh. Of course. I'll see you later. Were you this afternoon? Well, I, uh, uh... I thought you agreed to run through some combat maneuvers with me. I did? Oh, yeah, I did, I guess. But I, I got so busy this morning that... Really? Let's see how busy you were. Hey, don't! Aren't you ashamed of yourself? <sighs> yeah, I didn't catch a thing. <laughs> see you on the drilling field. Oh, 
Well, it's almost done. Wait till they see this. I love it. I thought I heard someone fooling around in my workshop. I'm not fooling around, man-at-arms. I'm making a surprise for the king and queen. The last surprise you gave them nearly burned down the castle. I'm afraid to ask what this one does. It's a music box, of course. Just lift the lid, and it plays a beautiful melody. Where did you get the parts for this? Over in that crate. Why? That's where we keep the bomb parts. This thing's going to explode. Yeah. <laughs> Big explosion. If I've told you once, I've told you a million times, stay out of my workroom. Oh, well. Back to the old drawing board. What's Orko up to? Mischief, as usual. He almost wrecked the palace with another of his crazy inventions. <laughs> Speaking of inventions, your memory projector made a big hit with the Queen. Good. Our Queen is quite a woman. Adam's lucky to have her for a mother. Mm-hmm. She makes me wonder about my own parents. I've told you, Tila. Your father was one of the greatest men I ever knew. He gave his life in battle so Eternians could live in peace. I was honored to adopt you as my own daughter. And my mother? That is the secret I've promised never to reveal. Someday you will learn that secret, Tila, but not from me. Even as a little girl, I had no memory of my mother, only of man-at-arms, who was always there for me. He raised me alone, teaching me both the skills of a warrior and the manners of the royal court. And because of his love and guidance, I excelled at both. But as to who my mother was, or is, I have no idea. Quite a long face, Tila. Did Cringer use your shield as a water dish again? No, Orko. I was just remembering back to when I was a little girl. Oh? Bad memories? No memories is more like it. If only I could see what happened before I was born. Maybe if I were to ask the Oracle of the Crystal Sea. The Oracle? No, Tila. It's too dangerous. I've got to take that chance. But, but the Oracle's cave is surrounded by shadow beasts and monsters. You can't go alone. I have to. And you mustn't tell anyone where I've gone, Orko. But the Crystal Sea, Tila? I know. I'd risk anything to learn the truth. Hurry. Yes, it's not like her to run off alone. Don't worry. Tila can look out for herself. I hope. Do you know where she's going, Orko? I promise not to tell. After all, if Tila wants to go running off to the Crystal Sea, that's her business. The Crystal Sea? Oops. Even Tila's no match for the evil creatures there. Orko, you should have stopped her. I tried. I tried. Cringer, we've got to find her. Oh, don't tell me I have to be that dreadful battle cat again. Sorry, old cat, but he could stay on Tila's trail better than you could. By the power of Grayskull! He ran!
woman Teela is off on some mission of her own. She seems bound for the Crystal Sea, your home territory, merman. I beg you, Skeletor, let me deal with her. Years ago, her guardian, man at arms, rescued a victim I had chosen for the sea demon. I now demand revenge! prettiest place I've ever been. But I didn't exactly come here for a vacation. A shadow beast? I hate to meet one of those monsters. seeking your past, a past that only I can make clear. Behold, Tila. Do you know him? Wait, yes. It's man-at-arms as a young warrior. Years ago, your adopted father was making his way through the evergreen forest. He had received a strange psychic signal, drawing him urgently through the woods. Then suddenly, a sound reached his ears. It was the cry of a falcon. Merman and his subjects had come to capture Zoar the Falcon. They intended to sacrifice the mystic bird to an evil sea demon. It would have been easy for the falcon to have flown away, but there was something in the nest she was protecting, something she'd give her very life to defend. <laughs> the young warrior. The warrior looked into the nest and saw... Wait! Why did you stop? I sense evil. Coming closer. Beware, Tila. Beware. Fish me. I know Tila can take care of herself, but I can't shake the feeling she's headed for danger. After all these years, the daughter of my old enemy, Man-at-Arms, has finally fallen into my hands. If it's a rematch you want, Toadface, cut me loose. I'll give you one you won't forget. <sighs> I have other plans for you, girl. A very special destiny for you to fulfill. I thought I'd tell you, too. It seemed important to me. More important than you realize, Orko. To Tila's side I go. 
on Falcon's wings. Wow! She sure knows how to make an exit. <laughs> Tila, are you here? Easy, easy, great cat, easy. The Oracle means us no harm. He-Man, your friend Tila is in danger. She has been captured by Merman. You've picked up their trail, eh? Let's go! Once every 20 years, the stars come into perfect alignment. That is the time Bako may be summoned from its underwater slumber with this, the Crimson Pearl. Who is this Bako? And what do you want with me? Whoever commands the Crimson Pearl also commands Bakul, mightiest of sea demons. But Bakul demands a sacrifice for its services. Twenty years ago, your father rescued a victim I had selected. How fitting that you should now take her place. <laughs> Let us summon Bakul. Hold it, fish face. He-Man, stop the you fools! I must complete the spell! Now, Bakul, hear my command! Come forth and serve the master of the Crimson Pearl! Better let me handle this, Cat. Your claws weren't made for climbing crystal. I think we could use a tunnel. That's just what I was thinking. Boy, the things people leave lying around. Call. Take your offering and serve me well. No! Tila, use my sword! Stay back, monster! As long as Merman holds the Red Pearl, that monster is unstoppable! Get them both! Obey your master and destroy them! No! The Pearl! The Pearl was the only thing controlling Bakul. Help me! Help me! I may hate myself later, but... Ellie? Thanks for the rest, you fool! Now see if you can save yourself! Sorry, big fella. Well, let's hope this will hold back hole for another 20 years. You risked everything to go back for Merman. Any life, even an evil one, is worth saving. Now, let's go home. Wait, He-Man. There is one more thing I have to do. Oh, Oracle, finish your tale. Tell me of my mother. Young man-at-arms had driven off Merman and made his way to the falcon's nest. Inside the nest was a baby girl. It was the sorceress's young daughter. With the passing of her husband, she had brought the child to the mountain to raise her in peace. But after Merman's attack, the falcon knew that without a real home, the baby would never be truly safe. The young warrior's heart went out to the child and he promised to care for her 
all his days. You are that child, Tila. That means my mother is the sorceress of Grayskull. Mother? Yes. You are my own daughter. And someday, you will take my place as the mystic guardian of Grayskull. But for now, you have other deeds to do. And until that time when your special destiny calls, you must forget what you have learned today. She will only remember that her mother was a woman who loved her very much. I leave her secret with you, He-Man. You can, I assume, keep a secret? I've had lots of practice. In today's story, I went in search of my mother. I found her, but I also found something else. That the man who had cared for me since I was a baby, who loved me as he would his own daughter, was just as much my father as any parent could be. And so whether they are someone we were born to or whether they chose us to adopt, it doesn't matter. The ones who protect us and teach us and love us, they are the ones we call mother and father. And they deserve the same kind of love from us. Until next time. Masters of the Universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. The Valley of Power. And that giant bird must be the Mother Row that guards the valley against all intruders. It's just as the legend says. Well, I'd better move fast if I want to steal your egg. And when it hatches, I'll teach the little monster to obey my every command. And when it grows as big as you, my giant lady, all Eternia had better watch out. <laughs>
<laughs> well, that, that sounds awfully loud for a miniature snowhawk. Come on, Cringer, I know my birds. And that is a miniature snowhawk. Adam, Cringer, look out! Oh, no! I guess it wasn't so miniature after all. Come on, guys. That's the Mother Row that guards the Valley of Power. We can't turn back now. <laughs> Wanna bet? Yay! Cringer! <laughs> Don't let go, Adam! <laughs> Don't let go! Don't worry, old pal. We won't let you down. <laughs> Am I safe yet? Safe as can be. Oh, Taylor, how do Adam and I let you talk us into these crazy adventures? Come on, Cringer. The sorceress told all of us about the magical spring in the valley. It rises once every thousand years. And today is the day. All you have to do is drink the water, and the magic will make you as brave and strong as He-Man and Battle Cat. Wow. What do you think of that, Cringer? I can't believe it. <laughs> Battle Cat is my idol. Y you really think it's possible, Tila? Well, maybe not. But anything will be an improvement. Hey, that wind should be freezing, but it's warm. It must be coming from the valley. We'd better hurry. Because if we're late, we'll have to wait another thousand years, and I don't think any of us has the patience for that. Yeah, finally made it. Now to steal the egg of the mother. Wait, galaxies. It's even bigger than I thought. We just better get out of here before the mother returns. Well, this is it. Th this is your magical spring? Looks pretty dry to me. Unless, of course, the magic water's invisible as well. Give me a break. The water only comes up one day every thousand years. But the sorceress couldn't tell me the exact minute. Well, it, it better happen soon. Or we're all gonna be bird food. Calm down, guys. We haven't done anything to that bird, so why should she bother us? <laughs> You may think we haven't done anything against the Mother Row, but, but try telling that to her. Uh-oh, she's after me. It looks as if someone else is in trouble, too. Get down! Yikes. Who are you? My name's Tila. And my friends are Adam and Cringer. Oh, and, and I'm Donovus. But well, well, why is that monster bird after us? Maybe she's protecting the magic spring. Is that why you're here? To become more powerful? And the legend is right. Drinking the water will give me the power I want. Uh, well, of course, I plan to use my powers to fight uh, evil. But uh, just where is the spring? We'll be standing in it. When the waters rise, that is. Look out, you two. Here she comes again. Hey, Cringer, I think it's time we became more powerful ourselves. And we can't wait for that magical water, either. By the power of Rayskull! It's almost as if she were protecting her children. Here she comes again. Wait a minute. What's in that knapsack? He-Man, Battle Cat. You sure came at the right time. That monster just flew off with a woman. I tried to protect her, but I couldn't. Come on, Battle Cat. 
I'll be right behind you. As soon as I drink my fill of magic water, that is. <laughs> Battle Cat, when we get to the top, you've got to tell Mother Roe we mean her no harm. I just hope we speak the same language. Galaxies, what's going on? It's happening! The magical waters are ready to rise! You must be ready to drink! Amazing! The legend was right about this, too. Well, old pal, I hope you're not thirsty. Because whether she realizes it or not, Tila still needs help. One hero coming out of the Valley of Power is more than enough for me. No wonder the Mother Row is mad. Danibus has stolen her egg. What, what, what's happening? I feel, I feel incredibly powerful. That's it. The magic worked. My baby bird. <laughs> I don't believe it. The magic is making the baby grow to full size. Thanks to my new magical power, you are now under my complete control. Too bad. No more water means Prince Adam and Cringer lost their chance to be heroes. And now I think it's time to take care of He-Mad and Battle Cat as well. Tila, are you all right? I'm fine, but what about Adam and Cringer? Don't worry, they're all right. But I think we'd better get out of here as well. He-Man! Uh-oh. This calls for some fancy footwork. <laughs> Enjoying your ride, He-Man? Sure thing, Danavis. It's a real kick. I'm so glad. But you've come to the end of the line. Where did that menace of the skies fly off to now? I'm sorry I am! <laughs> Pretty strong wind, isn't it? Now this is what I call a real cliffhanger. I've got only one chance. And that's to learn very quickly how to fly! Oh no! It's He-Man! He's dropping like a lead balloon! I think I'd better leave flying to the birds. But wait, I think I've got the hang of it. Tila, Battle Cat, clear the runway. Here he comes. He-Man, are you all right? It was fun, Battle Cat, but I wouldn't advise anyone to try it unless they were born with wings. Well, I'm brave enough, but not dumb enough to try that. Good. Fool! You've only made a temporary escape. But the Royal Palace of Eternia is doomed. <laughs> the king and queen are at the seashore. And man-at-arms and the troops are all out on maneuvers. Which leaves Orko at the palace all alone. Oh, no! The Mother Rose, she's back! Come on, Battle Cat. See if you can find out what's going on. I can understand what she's saying, and I'll bet she can understand me, too. <laughs> Well? Danavis took her baby. She wants her baby back, and I told her we'd help. In that case, Tila, you hitch a ride with our new friend to the palace. But Adam... Don't worry about Adam or Cringer. We won't leave until we know they're all right. We'll meet you at the palace. Just get there as fast as you can. Once I've demonstrated my power, 
Prince Adam and the whole royal family will fall to their knees and bow to me. <laughs> Stop us. Fly under it. Now! Oh, no. We've been tricked. We did it, Tila. We did it. And you're both gonna pay for ruining my nest, too. Yikes! Look out, Arco! That bird is dangerous! And so am I. Let's get out of here. Boy, I sure wish he man were here. Come on, Battle Cat. An Eternian snail can move faster than this. Ah, one more crack and you're walking. Uh-oh, sounds like trouble. Nope, that's the Mother Row. And she says, Tila sent her back to give us a lift. I guess Tila didn't think I was fast enough either. sorceress and get something to get rid of the magic of the Valley of Power. The mother will take you there, while Battle Cat provides a distraction to let you get away. Hey, I want to stay and help He-Man. Next time, Orko, I promise. Ah, Tila, I never get to do anything exciting. <gasps> Tila and Orko are coming. I must think. An antidote for that baby row. One that will return it to its mother as it should be. As for that evil Donovus, well, I needn't worry about him. Anger reducer. A touch of baby love. Hmm. Some motherly understanding. A pinch of a baby's cry. Tila! I, I, I can't hang on much longer! <laughs> They're here, and just in time. Help! Help! Orko! It's all right, Tila. Orko was only splashed with a bit of the antidote I had prepared for you. Oh, and don't worry about Donovus. The effects of the water will wear off any moment now. Just like Orko will recover. <laughs> What's happening? You know, for a minute there, I thought... Come on, Orko. And thank you, Sorceress. <laughs> Anymore. Oh no! Hey. So much for my clever plan. Battle Cat, watch out! Oh no, not again! Don't worry, Battle Cat, I'm on my way. Great work, He Man, but now what? I think it's time to call in reinforcements. Yeah, what are those two up to now? Get ready, Battle Cat. You've got to be kidding. You've got a better idea? Now! Yeah. We did it! 
Battle Cat may have escaped, but He-Man is mine. Ah, He-Man, you forgot just one thing. I can't fly this crazy thing! Just hang on, Battle Cat. I'll think of something. I hope so. Your airplane's shaking the stripes off of me. I love the fresh air at this altitude, but I'm not so sure I like the view. Glad to see you. Yeah, just get me back to solid ground. <laughs> oh, we made it. Oh, dirt, rocks. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I sure hope that stuff works. It did on you. He-Man! We've got the antidote! Great work, Tila. <laughs> Open wide, baby roll. It's time for little monsters to take their medicine. Oh. He may be huge, but <laughs> he's still a little baby at heart. Now that's what I call a happy family. We don't have any antidote left to use on Danavis. Don't you remember, Orko? The sorceress told us his power would wear off by itself. And until it does, I think these should keep him out of trouble. Uh, don't worry, He-Man. I've learned my lesson, and I intend to pay for my evil deed any way I can. Just as long as I can keep both feet on the ground. <laughs> It sure is nice to spend a day in the woods. Nature offers us much to enjoy. Unfortunately, some people do things which hurt the plant and animal life in the forest, like Danavis in today's story. By taking the mother rose egg, he upset the natural order of things. So the next time you're in a beautiful outdoor setting, enjoy yourself, but be sure to leave things just as you found them. That way the next person can enjoy them too. <laughs>